everyone, this is Gong Wen Yi, and I thought while I still have this glitch, I might as well make a very short video about cooking at the new mansion. Now this is not something that unlocks for very beginning players, but when you get your new mansion, after you've upgraded it a bit, you will be able to cook in a kitchen that is found, well, let me take you there. So you start at the front gate of the new mansion and then go off to the left. <laughs> Usually you're not running on top of your fox or your horse, but hey, some days are different. So when this opens, there's going to be two parts to cooking. One is growing your own food, which I see here Schwang is growing something in his field. And then I also have some fields here. So let me hop down and show you here. You approach your own plot, which when it first comes available, you will be lost, completely lost because only one square comes up. You have to find the other ones in the layout menu up here it says layout you click on layout and you go to other and then there'll be eight more in this menu so you can lay those out after you get open up that um, option so don't be lost and confused like I was and feeling like you're hitting a brick wall I hope this video is helpful to you okay so once you have laid out your crop crop patterns you can plant the seeds which are originally provided to you and you can find those in your storage under mansion there'll be different seed packets in here right now I just have food because I don't have seeds but I can buy them so after you have planted the first round of seeds which you can find in this menu also you can actually buy some and rice is always useful so I'm gonna buy a couple not everyone is buyable right now See, I can't buy cucumber seeds, but I can buy lettuce and wheat and rice and also chives, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these. Yep. Oh no, I've glitched. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plant the ones that I have. Go ahead and select, and I'm going to use it, use it, use it. It'll plant it where it wants to. It doesn't matter where you think it should go. It's just gonna automatically do it for you. I'm also gonna plant these other seeds that I purchased from the traveling salesman, which you find in world chat, people will post a traveling salesman. You wanna be aware of this. Sometimes you can go and sell the food that you cooked, bargain for things or purchase things with the coins that you gain from selling what you cook okay so those are all set you can also draw water if you have a well once you leave that menu you can draw water from this well which you can use in cooking so to build this well you would go up to craft and over to decoration other decor pretty sure it's in here let me see things to craft Maybe that would shorten the list. All right, I'm not seeing it right there, but it is somewhere in this crafting menu. So I'm sure you can find it. You all are smart people. As long as you get pointed in the right direction, I'm sure you can find it. Okay, so I got water and every day from this well, you can collect water twice. It's a little finicky about how long in between collecting the water, but you can collect water twice and that's 100 water a day. All right, then you can go up to your kitchen. That's your butler. You can also talk to your butler about things like the rules for growing stuff and going to the mansion gate and going to the kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and say go to the kitchen. Although it's just a short run across this bridge so your butler's just on the other side, right there. So the kitchen's just very close to the crops, which sort of makes sense. And then you can go in here to this built-in walk combo, which is very cool. And you can, once you have recipes selected, you can pick recipes if you want to quick cook them. 
and as long as you have the resources necessary, you can just quick cook. Oh good, it came out and didn't burn this time. <laughs> it burns a lot at first, so uh, one thing you can do to level up your cooking is click, click cook, go to water, and this allows you to do it for free. You just put in four water, hit cook, it's gonna burn the water and tell you it's horrible and barely edible. You just better sell it. Okay, yes, thank you, I will, because you're gonna need those coins. Now the reason you burn water is because it's gonna upgrade your cooking level. See, now I'm a royal cook. You start out uh, at a level lower than that. And when you go up a level, not only does it give you this random seed pack, but it also increases your likelihood of being successful at those recipes or discovering them. So if you'll see here, recipe one, 55% success rate, recipe one, 65% success rate, and it keeps going up the farther you go over. So burn water, <laughs> don't burn food. That's kind of my message here. Um, as you level up, different recipes unlock for you. See level one recipes, level two recipes, and as you can see, I'm still working this out and there are some resources online that do give you recipes already, so please look at those. I think Neverland Sect 51 probably has some, but today is just very basic information. So you can also randomly combine your ingredients to discover recipes, but I don't recommend it because recipe ingredients are rather scarce and expensive in-game, except for the ever-free daily 100 water. And as you can see, I don't burn my water every day. I just do it when I have time. So you can just collect it. Collecting it only takes a few seconds a day, and then save it for when you have a lot of downtime and would like to do that. Okay, everyone, that's all I know about cooking for now, and that's all I think will be helpful for you. I hope that this gave you some ideas and helped you along your way. Thank you so much for watching. Leave, leave a comment below if you have something to add to help everyone else out, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed.